This is America's final shield, the last and only protection against an incoming North Korean nuclear missile. Housed deep underground in the heart of Alaska's wilderness at Fort Greeley, about 150 miles north of Fairbanks. The heavily armed 49th Missile Defense Battalion secures 38 missile silos, dotting a landscape frigid even in late summer, the tip barely revealing what lies beneath. We're allowed rare access to bring you up close to America's ground-based missile interceptors, or GBIs. This is what will be launched here out of Fort Greeley to intercept any threat that's coming into the defended homeland. The key piece of equipment is right here. The kill vehicle is right there towards the top. The kill vehicle to take down any potential intercontinental ballistic missile coming to the U.S., including from North Korea, which the U.S. could face in the future. Here's how it works. North Korea launches. Impact location is Los Angeles. We are engaging this threat at this time. Instantly activating a secured room in Fort Greeley. What you're seeing now is a drill, declassified, so we can show you generally how the ground-based interceptors work to protect the U.S. Roger. As the uh, alarms would go off, what you'd see is uh, those white shells that you see behind us would separate extremely quickly, and then immediately you'd see a flash of flame as that GBI would leave the tube at a really incredible rate of speed. Outside the Earth's atmosphere in space, if it works, the interceptor kills the incoming nuclear weapon. We train to shoot a bullet at a bullet and destroy it so it doesn't destroy us. Have the drills this year taken on a new meaning? What that does is that just makes it more real for us because now I've got a leader of a foreign country who says, I'm going to take my missile and I'm going to kill your citizens with it. What kind of confidence do you have if North Korea launches a missile that the system will work? I have 100% confidence this system will work. That's despite a 60% success rate. Out of 18 test launches, the interceptors have only struck its target 10 times in controlled launches. Just because we've had some failures um, doesn't mean we're not learning. Alaska yeah, Senator Dan Sullivan grand. believes the interceptors the are still America's best shot as a last defense as North Korea rapidly moves closer to being able to strike the U.S. mainland, introducing a bill boosting the number of missiles to a total of 72, setting the possibility of 100 missile interceptors. So far, a cost of $40 billion to taxpayers. Doing nothing in the face of this threat when we clearly have the capability to make sure we have a very protected homeland uh, is not an acceptable option, and I think most Americans would agree with me on that.